thing is. Aren't they excited? Look at them. You're very golden. You're usually you. much lighter than me. You're a little, you look like a little deep she, car male my, going my, on. My makeup artist did a little bronzer A little bronzer. Yeah. <laughs> and your voice sounds husky. Am I husky? Yeah, is it because you've been doing a lot of singing lately? Maybe on the Grammys and breaking <laughs> records? I've been traveling a lot and, and talking a lot about my, my new fragrance, so I'm probably a little husky. A little husky. <laughs> oh, it has nothing to do with having to say over and over again, I won six Grammys. I made history. <laughs> How did it feel? I mean, you broke history. I mean, there's people now that are going to have to break the Beyonce record of winning that amount of Grammys in a night for women. I mean, it's amazing. It is Insane. unreal. And, you know, it was so scary because... The pressure of doing the live performance is already enough. Yeah. And uh, they told me before um, I was nominated for so 10 awards. And before I won the award, I already won five. So they said, if you win this one, you break all oh, the records. The non-televised so winning ones already yeah, were five. I was so <gasps> nervous before I walked up there. It was so many people I wanted to thank. I just wanted to run off the stage. It was, it was just so overwhelming for me. It, it still makes me nervous when I think about it. It's crazy. It really is. It is crazy. And, and what it is is you've raised the bar. You know, it's all about raising the bar. So there's going to be like the people, the little girls that are five years old now that have a new thing to aspire to. You know, like, wow, she did six. Can I do seven? Probably not. They probably can't. But, but it's still something to aspire to. So were you more nervous for yourself or for your husband's? Because he um, was up too. I think, if I'm honest, for myself. I love the honesty. <laughs> give, come on, give up for some honesty. Of course, extremely happy for my husband. Yeah. But he's so much cooler than me, so yeah. I figured he would be all right. I'm the one that's nervous all the time. Yeah. Well, there's one thing that um, that you said when you accepted your award, uh, the record-breaking award, and the whole world went, <gasps> when you said, I love you to my husband, because you guys are so private, right? They're so private, which I think is the way to go when it comes to relationships in this business in order for them to survive. I'm very private about my life as well, that part of my life. Um, but what made that come out? Because that usually doesn't come out. It you. usually doesn't. And you know, it's another reason why I wanted to run off the stage. I was <laughs> like, what did I just say? I, I, I had so many him. people. Yeah, they did. And he was like, he baby, was shocked. Like, we're not supposed to do that. What are we that? doing? <laughs> what are you doing? But it was just a genuine moment. Uh -huh. And I looked in the audience and I saw my nephew and I saw my cousin Angie and I saw him. And it's the first thing that came to my mouth. And it, I... I didn't think about it, it just yeah. came out. And um, after I walked off the stage, I just bawled because that's oh. when I realized what just happened to me. Yeah. And everything I've been working for my whole life all paid off mm -hmm. that night. That's what's beautiful about you, Beyonce, is the humility. special person to step outside of yourself and it's almost like that that crying moment for you is like it's adult Beyonce looking down at baby Beyonce little girl Beyonce exactly. that was in the backyard going hey you know what I'm saying and exactly. to see where it pays off is, is beautiful did um what about the, the performances of the Grammys it was the Lady Gaga's and then Pink doing her Cirque du Soleil and the Michael Jackson tribute what were you thinking during all of the amazing well, performances I, I missed Gaga's I could see a little bit glimpse of it because I was trying to hurry up and get ready for the performance because uh -huh. I was next. And when I came back in, I saw the end of Pink's, which looked unbelievable. She is incredible. Yeah, Cirque du Soleil. She's like, no joke. She, she's so strong. She's a gymnast and she's so elegant and singing yeah. all at the same time. I know how difficult that has to be. So <laughs> I'm, I have so much respect for her. My favorite moment was the Michael Jackson tribute. Have you seen yourself yet during I, that? I, they just told me they had a shot of me. There's, during the tribute, there's a, like the camera goes to you and it almost looked like you were praying. Like, you, you were, like, spiritually connected to those kids on the stage and, and, and also during the song. I don't know if you guys remember Beyonce, and she was like, yeah. and I was like, wow, what was going through your, your head? Because it almost looked like it was a spiritual outer body kind well, of thing for you. Well, I definitely felt Michael's presence, mm -hmm. and you, to hear his voice, you could just imagine how it would have been if he was there. Mm -hmm. So it was really emotional for me and everyone in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And to see his children, and the strength and elegance yep. they have. It was just, I, I, I was praying, like, you can do it, you can get through this, and I just had so much admiration for those children. Yeah. 
Have and, you ever met him? Family. Yeah, I, yeah, I've met him a few times, and I'm so happy I got to tell him on numerous occasions how much he impacted my life. Yeah. And I honestly will not, I would not have been any anything that, I mean, any amount of success that I had, I wouldn't have had without Michael without Jackson. I, he's taught me so much and my family so much. Really? So, you know, I'm happy I was able to tell him what did while he, he say? was here. You know, he's very humble. Yeah. He, he was always very humble. You say, with love. Did yes. you see the movie, uh, This Is It? Yes, I, I learned, was in tears I learned from him too. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, you are the, the CEO of your business. Right. I'm the CEO of mine. And we have to tell people to do things and stuff. And he would say, can you change that light? With, with love. love. L O V E. With love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, everybody wants to know did you talk to Taylor Swift backstage at all? I actually after the didn't show? get to see Taylor you Swift. You didn't? No, oh. I didn't get to see her. It's crazy how those award shows are because everything's going by so fast. Yes. And you're going backstage to get touched up and you're back in your seat and they're telling you you have two minutes. And But my, my nephew Jules gave her the biggest hug. He did. I heard. I was backstage. Uh -huh. So, yeah. <laughs> And um, I know, I, okay, I, I love your videos. They're, I think, you know, 10 years from now, your videos are gonna be very, 20 years from now, 50, 100 years from now, I think your videos are gonna be in the vault of the like, iconic, legendary videos. Um, I mean, from the booty thing to the, I mean, it's just, it's one after the other. Um, the, the most recent, probably, I'd say, like, blew me away gorgeous video was the one with you and Lady Gaga video phone. Oh, thank you. I mean, just, I mean, I, my background with modeling and imagery, it's like I'm very numb to it. And when I saw you in that video with her, I just was like blown away. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was amazing. What was it like working with Lady Gaga? I am such a huge fan of hers. And we just filmed her video. I heard. Two weeks ago in Los Angeles. And it's going to be so crazy. It's, it is. I don't want to give too much away because I don't want her to be upset. <laughs> um, but it's it's like a part two of of paparazzi and she's just so smart and yeah. such she's becoming an icon in her own she right is. okay <laughs> so you miss lady you work crazy like i always say i'm one of the hardest working people in the business i think you definitely taught me by 10. when are you going to take some time off and what do you want to do I, i'm ready to take some time off yeah i actually leave today and i go to brazil which i've never yeah. been there Okay, well, so you're going for a vacation or work? I'm going to work. I'm going <laughs> to, to finish my last leg of my tour, and I'm going to be doing another video with Alicia Keys there. Nice. And I'm so excited to work with women. Yes. And, it, you know, I grew up obviously in Destiny's Child, and I'm a girl's girl. So to show that women that are successful can support each other and have yeah. a good time, I'm just so happy to have, I mean, to bring that message across with Gaga and with Alicia Keys. And then uh, Shakira back in the and day, Shakira, too. Shakira, yes. Y'all were Shakira. doing that thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I, we were talking about this actually backstage before um, the show started about there's a lot of stars that, big singers like yourself, that don't want to do another project with somebody else because they don't want to share the spotlight, they don't want to um, compare. And we thought that was really great of you that you still, you know, being so huge, still want to collaborate. Oh, of course. We, I learned something mm -hmm. from all of these ladies every time I work with them. Yeah. And I think we just make each other's light brighter. Yeah. I heard Alicia held up the album to do the song with you. Is that true? That was the rumor. I don't know. I, I, I heard think that she waited. She said, ah, it's supposed to come out on this I'm day. I'm just happy it happened. It happened. And we had the time of our lives yeah. in the studio. She's cool. I yeah, like her. She's a very, very humble, okay. talented woman. Now bring in the vessel. What is, Give oh. me the vessel. <laughs> this is Beyonce's new fragrance. It is called Beyonce Heat. And I feel the fire in my hand. <laughs> What made you want to do a fragrance? This is well, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> thank you so much. I've done a couple of collaborations and I've been the muse, yeah. but this is my first fragrance. Uh -huh. And all of the icons that I love have their own fragrance, so it's a very big accomplishment. So who do you love that have fragrance? Like Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor? Elizabeth Taylor, Jane all Lowe. of the divas. Yeah. And I really took my time. This took two years to develop. Two years. And I had my own little testings on the road. I met thousands of fans on, on the past tour, and I sprayed it every day. And if I got a lot of compliments, I was like, okay, I have the juice. And I wanted to make sure it was long-lasting, and I wanted to make sure it was layered and a little 
complicated, so it didn't smell like every other yeah. celebrity fragrance. So it's a little bit woodsy and fruit, fruity so and long floral. So last, long-lasting is good, too, because I will spray something and be like, do I need to keep this in my purse? Because <laughs> it's three hours later, and it's gone. Yeah, I yeah. keep it in the purse, but it is long-lasting. It long and it's very sexy and spicy and sweet at the same time. At the time. same time. Like you. Thank you. Yeah, girl. <laughs> so, okay, how do we come up with this name, Heat? I wanted something strong. Mm -hmm. I wanted something that meant desire and uh, sensuality, mm -hmm. but also something current. And when something is hot now, mm -hmm. think of heat, think of fire, and something simple. Uh huh. So it was perfect. What were the names on the cutting room floor? Did you have other names? There were a few. Was it Beyonce Fire? <laughs> it or Beyond Spray? I like Beyond Spray. <laughs> Beyond Spray. <laughs> I should have thought of that one. Beyond spray. We thought of some of the song titles and like, but but he was what. Stood. What about if I smelled like a boy? <laughs> what about that one? I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't, what about all oh, the stinky ladies? <laughs> Definitely that not been a good, good one thing. too. No. Okay, well I'm gonna spray it. I actually have never smelled it. Really? I've seen the beautiful ads and stuff, oh, but gosh. I've never smelled it. Ooh, here we go. I didn't put anything on purpose today. Really? Are you supposed to rub or not rub? I've I think you're supposed to dab. Dab, yeah. okay. <laughs> Did you catch the fever? Did you catch, catch the it. fever? Beyonce. You got it. Oh, Lord, we need a fan. We need a fan. <laughs> Beyonce like to snack on the honey nut cereals. <laughs>